Yeah, it's an interesting song because we've gotten sort of hate mail from people saying, uh, you hate the troops, you want them to die or something like that. Like, this is so messed up. I serve and can't believe you'd write this. And then we get from punk kids being like, this might as well be three doors down on an aircraft carrier. You guys are so pro-war now. Like, what the hell happened to you guys? You know? And that's the funny thing to me is that people think that that's the only way you can write about these things. You're either for it or you're against it, right? And to me, I really wanted to write a song about being anti-war, about being a pacifist, but having tons of friends that are in the service, and I love them too. And I think this, uh, there has been this political climate that if you don't support a war that you feel is unjust, that you don't support the troops. And I think that's a really dangerous lie um, because it has other people's agendas wrapped up in it. It has nothing to do with the actual people that are stuck over there fighting wars. I have friends in the National Guard that were never supposed to go overseas. They were supposed to be here to take care of things like Katrina. And I feel like they've really been used in this really terrible way. And, uh, and I just felt like I wanted to talk about that. And, and the thing is, it's so hard to get the meaning out of the song is it's not black and white. And I think that's the way life is too. It's not black and white. It's, it's kind of, I don't, I don't give a shit who's right or wrong. I just don't want to lose any more of my friends is basically it. Cool.